Now, what is particle swarm optimization or PSO? Particle swarm optimization is a method to, um, to find the minimum uh, point and the minimum value of a function of several variables. And the function may be very complicated. So you are familiar from calculus three with, um, with this, this method of gradient descent, right? So if you want to say, I don't know, if you have something like a function f of x, y of two variables, that is, I don't know, e to the power minus x squared minus 3y squared times, say, x plus xy plus y cubed, something like this. Then in order to find the minimum value of this function, what you do is you differentiate it with respect to x, equate to 0, differentiate it with respect to y, equate to 0, and solve the, the given system of, of um, algebraic equations, right? So you're familiar with this. Well, but PSO is designed to work with functions that are very complicated, where we do not have an explicit formula and the function may not even be differentiable. So as long as it is in principle computable, so like our error function, so if we have our P is the vector of values of all the parameters, so it means that we can run our numeric simulation and after we run our numeric simulation, we can compute how uh, much these simulated values um, of our independent variables deviate from the observed values. And, and, and this is going to be our E of P, right? So it is computable. So it means that in principle, we can find its minimum with PSO. Of course, the more complicated the function, the objective function is, the harder it is to find the, the minimum. So PSO is not a... Um, 100% foolproof method, so, but it, it is still better than nothing. So it is a, a very good approximation to, 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 the, to the actual minimum. Now, I recommend that you read at least Wikipedia about PSO. Better if you read the original paper about particle swarm optimization, at least in order to understand how to fine tune parameters of PSO in Python or R or MATLAB. So let me just show you what it looks like. So, so for the sake of this example, I'm going to find the minimum value of this function. So which uh, is very easy to, to find just by observations, right? So because the exponent here is the sum of squares and of course it is minimized when all the squares are uh, just, just zeros. So we know that the actual answer is X is 1.1 and Y is 2.3. Now, so here, here is how I defined my function. Well, I used R here. Basically, my logic is that you just learned R in the previous semester. So probably R is more familiar to you, but it doesn't matter. So in Python, it's going to be very similar. So or only in Python, I would write def f equals func. It's, it's all very similar. And in MATLAB, it's, it, it, it is also very similar. So if you, are, if you prefer MATLAB. Now, um, what is important here is that um, the input of my function here is a vector. So x is, is supposed to be a vector. In all implementations of PSO that I am familiar with, the input of the objective function should be a vector. All right. And in, in this case, I interpret the first element of the vector as um, x and the second element of the vector as, as y. Um, so notice that in, say, if you want to do it in MATLAB, then parentheses should be um, round. And if you wanted to do it in Python, it is square parentheses, but the indexation begins with zero. So it is a bit, so you need to remember about the, these uh, subtle things. Well, in any case, so then um, running the PSO is, is always very easy. So there are libraries for R, Python, and, uh, and MATLAB. They are all very similar. So what you need is some special comment. It's just, just one comment, actually. So just, just one function with several arguments. So in R, the second argument is the objective function that we want to find the minimum of. Then there are always some kind of um, uh, lower and upper limits on the given variable. So in, in this case, I'm going to restrict x and y to be between 0 and 5. 
Now, at least in R, I don't remember about Python and MATLAB, but in R, the first argument here specifies the dimensionality of the problem. So, um, so the first argument here is a vector of a length, of a certain length, and the length of that vector uh, is the dimensionality of the problem. I don't really understand the reason for it, but again, so R is R has a lot of libraries. So as far as I understand, some other libraries, they also use PSO. And so there are different implementations of PSO. And um, if you use a different library, then maybe this, um, instead of uh, given passing it to this, this vector of length two, maybe you you will j just, just try the number two here. I, I, I don't know. It, it doesn't really matter, right? So you need to somehow tell the, this um, optimization algorithm that your problem is two-dimensional. So, and in R, to, to print the, the result, you do this. So it is PSO, um, so the, 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 the result of the output of the, this function uh, is a certain list and uh, the list element labeled uh, par uh, contains the the values of the um, the optimal values of the, the, the variables. Okay, um, so defining your error function and reading how to do PSO in your language of choice, or I don't know, even in R. So I did it in R here, but I did not tell you which library I used. So maybe you will find a different library, right? So you need to, to do it yourself. This is a part of the challenge. Please let me know if you have difficulty with it. So I will help you. So in the end, you need to do something like this, right? So in the end, you need to write this error function. You need to run your error function. Most likely, you will need to somehow modify it. So what I did, so this, this PSO has a certain parameter, the number of iterations. So I changed the default number 500 to 20 because with 500, it just takes forever to, to run. With 20, it's a few seconds. And then the output of this is going to be some combination of parameter values that will um, give you the best fit that is possible, at least within the given restriction. So notice that I I specified very rigid restrictions on um, on my parameters. The reason, because um, in this problem, it is very easy to, to get to infinity in finite time. So if I just change, say, 1.26 to 1.27, then I will already get an error because my solutions will run to infinity in finite time. Now, uh, the, these lower and upper limits, how you specify them, you just play with it a little bit, it's not the main, the, the, the most important point. So as long as you show me that you know how to how to run PSO, that you have uh, defined the error function correctly so that you can feed it into a PSO algorithm and produce the, the output, it is good. Okay, so that's all. I hope it is enough to start your project.